everyone and welcome back to the channel today. And in today's video, I'm doing a Timu haul. Now this Timu haul has things that I bought for my own personal use and I also included a few things to put into my future giveaway. So let me tell you a little bit about the haul before I start. This particular order, it took 14 days to get to me, two weeks. The total cost of it was $66.56. I had a $56.51 discount, which brought it down to $10.05. My tax was $0.80. Cents. I didn't have any credits with it, so my total cost was $10.85 which brought the average cost per item to 49 cents because I have 22 items that I bought in this particular haul. 49 cents is the average. The most expensive thing that I bought cost me 98 cents. And the least expensive thing, which I bought two of these, was six pennies. I had to buy two. It was only six pennies. So let me show you the things that I got. The first thing was these labels. And I'm going to use these for when I put food up into the freezer. I do put everything in a Ziploc bag. But this will save me having to write on the Ziploc bag with a magic marker. That way I can reuse the Ziploc bag over and over if I don't put anything in there that contaminates it. And there's 300 of these labels in here. I paid 8 pennies for these labels. Now the next thing is one of the items that I did get for my giveaway. And I don't know if I showed these in another haul or not. But it is a toothpaste squeezer. This comes out. There's a slit in it. You put it in here like this, you insert your toothpaste in there, and you turn this, and it squeezes all your toothpaste out. And I will be putting this in the giveaway, and I paid 18 cents for the toothpaste squeezer. Now this next item is something that I've been needing for a while, and Walmart carries it, but I didn't want to chunk out the price that Walmart was asking. I definitely didn't want to try to get it on Amazon because I knew they would be way more expensive. And this is what it is. An ice cream scoop. It's the kind you push the little deal. It has a little rotating thing. You can use these to make meatballs. You can use it to dip ice cream. And there's probably other things. Cookies. You can use it to do to make out even amounts on your cookie doughs. Now they had several sizes. This was a small size. And for the ice cream scoop, 48 cents. I think that's a pretty good deal for an ice cream scoop. Now, also for the giveaway, and these are items that I have hauled many times. Y'all have seen them before. It's the round ice mold, and I left it in the plastic because it is going in the giveaway. I paid 38 cents for it, so that will be one of the items in my giveaway. Now, this next item, I don't know if I'm going to keep it for myself or put it in the giveaway. I paid 78 cents for it, and it's called a hanging storage. It has these three pouches. And if I can find a place here in the kitchen, I'll put it in there. Come with this. It came with this. I'm trying to keep it out of the sink. It came with this wooden rod and this rope to tie around it. And I didn't tie it tight because, like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or give it away. But after you tie it up and figure out where you're going to hang it, you could just put your kind of pull it out. It does come out a little bit like this. And you can put uh, plastic, let me show you. Oh, it comes out quite a bit. Look, see the bottom? 
that comes out quite a bit. You could put plastic uh, trash bags in it. You could probably put a few onions, potatoes in it, as long as it wasn't really heavy. Uh, maybe some avocados and apples. I'm not sure, like I said, if I'm going to keep it. It's pretty good size. It has three of those pouches. So I'll decide if I'm going to keep it or give it away. I'd like to keep it because it's really, really nice. Um, I paid 78 cents for the storage bag. And the next thing is the same thing I just got through showing you, the toothpaste squeezer. I did buy two of them. Now, I paid the same price for this, 18 cents. And the reason I was able to get two of these they have multiple vendors on their site that sell the same products for different prices, sometimes the same price, because usually they will limit you to one item if it's at low of a price. So I did find the other one, this one here. I found it on a different vendor's website or a different vendor's place, but I paid 18 cents for both of them. So those will be going in the giveaway. And the next thing is an item that I bought two of that will be going in the giveaway. And they are these avocado cutters. Now, I think I might have showed you these because I bought one for my own use. But I wanted to get some to give in a giveaway. And once again, I was able to get two of them because I bought them from different vendors. I paid six pennies for these. These were the items that I bought that were the cheapest in this haul. So these two avocado slicers will go in a giveaway. And what you do, this part here, there's a blade cover on it that comes off so you can cut around the avocado. Take your knife out. And then you use this part to scoop the meat out. And I'm not sure what these two little holes are. They might be for you to separate uh, herbs or something. But these two avocado Cutters will be in the giveaway, six pennies each. And I found this little item. I'm not really sure exactly how to use it. Um, it is a nightlight. I paid 38 cents for it. It's a tiny little nightlight, so it won't be very bright in your house. But it doesn't plug in. It goes into one of those uh, plug-in cords like you would plug your cell phone in. So I'm going to have to go on there and see about finding a, a plug like that that plugs into the outlet so that I can plug the nightlight up. But in the meantime, this one will probably go in a giveaway. So one of you guys will get this one. And like I said, I paid 38 cents for that. And then the next thing is an item that I'm going to be putting in the giveaway. And it's a coaster. You would use this. Um, well, you couldn't really put a drink on it because the water would leak out of it. I guess you could use it. And it, it just said coaster. Um, definitely could not put a hot pan on it because it's plastic. It would melt. I'm not sure really what you would use to put it on, but it is a coaster. You might could uh, do some decorating with it. You know, use it for a template to draw into it and draw around the outside. Might could make, might ought to keep it and use it to make quilting squares with it. Because I could trace around this outside and make a nice quilt block Thing. So I may end up keeping it. And I paid 38 cents for that. Now the next item is an item that I did specifically buy for me to use in my sewing room. I paid 88 cents for it. And it's a circle guide. It's made out of that same acrylic that I showed you with those squares that I had. It has circles of assorted sizes starting from the really big size right there all the way down to the teeny tiniest size there has your measurements up here in centimeters and it, it's going to go in my sewing room because there's been times when i've needed to be able to draw a perfect circle and i didn't have anything and i had to get like a lid off a mayonnaise jar so this will come in handy for me to use in my crafting room i paid 88 cents for it now, the next thing I bought for myself, and it's a strainer, but it's a strainer of a different type. I paid 28 cents for it, and it, I forgot to tell you, some of these things were on a lightning deal, and some were on an Easter sale. This was on an Easter sale, 
But see how the straining part is? It's a mess fabric that you would put, you know, whatever in there and strain it out. Um, I'm not really sure exactly what, what, what all would go down through there as far as straining it. Very fine mesh. And I paid uh, 28 cents for the strainer. The next thing I bought is, it could be for me and it may be for the giveaway. I paid 49 cents for it. And it's a silicone hot mat. It's the same on both sides. It's got those little things. There's a thing here you can hang it up. And it says, it says hot pad. I'm assuming you can put hot saucepans or you know, anything hot that you want on it. It's a really big size. So I'm not sure if I'll keep this for myself or if it will go in the giveaway, but we will see. And the next thing that I got is one of these little basing brushes. Now they sell these at the Dollar Tree. And the ones they sell at the Dollar Tree are very similar to this. They called it a barbecue brush. I got it on a lightning sale. And I paid 38 cents for it. But it has these little silicone bristles that you could use to spread melted butter or barbecue sauce, garlic or oil or any, you know, to put on a pan that you're cooking with. Butter your buns with it. It's got a little hook, hole at the top to hang it up. So I will probably keep this for myself. The next thing is a deal that I got for the giveaway. And it is called a broom holder. I got it on an Easter sale and I paid eight pennies for it. I'm leaving it in the packaging because it is going to go on the giveaway. It has a hook with a little sticky back on it right here that you would attach to it. And this just this little part here just kind of slides. This part here slides into the plastic holder. Then your broom fits in here. This opens up. You can't really see it in the package. Just a little bit. See right there how it's opening up? But you would push your broom in there and it would hold your broom up on the wall. That will be going in the giveaway. I paid eight pennies for it. Now the next item is also something that I bought for my sewing room. I paid 78 cents for it. And it's 10 bobbins. And these are the exact same kind that I use on my sewing machine. I left them in the case until I can get them in the sewing room and put them in my bobbin holder jar. But 10 of these for 78 cents is a really good deal for bobbins. And the next thing I got is something for my sewing room again. And I'm not completely sure how they work. I paid 58 cents for them. But they're five needle threaders. They're very tiny. I would have to have my glasses on probably to even use them. I have trouble seeing to thread a needle now at this point in my life. So anything I can get to help me is a good deal. And I think what it is, oh, and it's very tiny. It won't even show up on the camera. I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i try to show you, but I'm pretty sure it won't show up. Right up here at the top is a little metal hook. A little metal prong that sticks out with a hook you would probably stick that through your needle tap your thread through it and pull it back and it will thread your needle they look like little fish but yeah I don't think you'll be able to see even if I do like this I don't think you'll be able to see the little metal prong no it's not going to show up but I got five of them and I'm pretty sure that's how they work. I left them in the bag because they were so tiny. I didn't want to lose them till I get them in the sewing room and put them in their area. And the next thing I got, I've been waiting for this to come in. I think this is the first one of these I've ordered. I'm not sure. I might have had it in another, but I don't remember it. It was on an Easter sale. I paid 38 cents for it. And it's one of those collapsible funnels. You just do it like this when you get ready to use it. Stick this part down into whatever you're feeling. Pour your sugar, salt, pepper, flour, whatever you're going to use in there. It's got a little thing to hang it up by. Then when you get done, 
you just collapse it down like that so it'll fit in your drawer. It's very tiny. 38 cents. And the next thing is another item that I got for my sewing room. I am stocking up things for my sewing room. And I won't be able to take these out because they will get lost. But it's 10 needles. I paid 69 cents for them. These are darning needles. And these are the kind of eyes that I was telling you that I would use these little fishy things on to thread them. Because I would definitely, they got big eyes on them. I could see the eyes on them are pretty good size, but I still would need these to thread them. But I got 10 of them in there, and I'm going to keep them in this little holder until I get ready to use them. And I paid 69 cents for those. And the next thing, this is an item that I'm planning on taking to work with me. It's called a pencil bag. I paid 68 cents for it. It's mesh so you can see through it. It has a zipper on top that zips up. I don't know about that zipper. Seems like it's got a little problem up there at the top. It may have gotten crushed in shipping. It still zips, but I don't know about using it. But anyway, I got it to take to work with me because I take puzzle books and crossword puzzle books and a notebook and things to work with me so in case I have to write something down. And I need something to carry pencils and ink pens in. So I got this specifically to take to work with me to use to write things down with. And I got it in pink because that's one of my favorite colors. And I paid 68 cents for it. Now this next thing is kind of a replacement of another thing that I bought. And those of you who have been on my channel, you will remember. You come in this pouch. It's really cute. Harzelin. Harzelin. I guess that's how you pronounce it. But if you remember, I bought these stencils that you use to put on your eyebrows. And they work fine. I had no problem with them. The only thing is you feel like you need four hands to hold them because you have to hold it at the top, hold it at the bottom, and then you have to hold it against your eyebrow. And then you have to have another hand to color it in. So I found this particular thing on there. And it's basically the same thing. It's the eyebrow stencils. The two of them are attached. You pick out the style that you want. And they're attached on this little thing with a little prongy deal down here. And then there's a stick in here. Like this. And then you put this against your head over your eyebrows. And what I'm going to do when I use it, I'm going to put push one side up and color it in. And then rotate it over and push the other side up and color it in. You color that in with your pencil. I have to figure out how to put it on there better because that evidently ain't the way it goes. I think I figured it out. There we go. Now I got it figured. See how steady it is? And they give you all these different types of eyebrows to go with it. Curves, some flat, some thick some curvy. They all go with it. So I'm going to still yet keep the other eyebrow things that I got, but I got this one as kind of a backup because I think it'll be easier to use it with this little stick thing on it. And for the eyebrow stencils, I paid 89 cents. Now this last item that I'm going to show you, this is the item that I paid the most money for and y'all are going to be like, what? When you see it because it's really tiny. And it's supposed to be tiny. I knew that it was going to be tiny. I ordered it to be tiny. It's called an angle eyeliner brush. See how it's got that triangle shape? That's what you use to color your eyebrows. So I will be able to use this with this when I get ready to, to paint my eyebrows on. I could use brown eyeshadow and just paint it on with this little brush. And it's very tiny. It's not very big at all. And I paid 98 cents for it. This was the most expensive thing that I got. And so that's it. That's it for this Timu haul. Um, some of these items will be in that giveaway that I'm going to be doing. But the rest of them are going to be, and most of them, as you can tell, are going in my sewing room. Because I am 
uh, stocking my sewing room up with supplies that I need. So thank you guys for coming to visit with this Timu haul. And y'all come back and see us any old time. Bye for this one.